Welcome everybody to today's video and today we are going to be looking at the GTX 1650 Super and seeing if it's any good for streaming or not since it is still the cheapest GPU on the market with a new Turing chip. Let's first start off with all the features of the ASUS Strix GTX 1650 Super and then we'll kind of look at the new NVENC encoder and all of the Turing chips etc. Now looking at the ASUS Strix version of the 1650 Super, there's a few key features and one of these features are a metallic backplate. Now metallic backplates are usually a premium feature and usually come in your more higher end GPUs and don't really make a feature in these lower end cards. And if you look at the other models of the 1650 range, you'll either get no backplate or you will get a plastic backplate for most of them. Now even though you do get a metallic backplate on this GPU, it does look a little different than the higher end cars or the three fan cars as this one is a solid backplate and doesn't actually have the cutout with the RGB as you see in the higher end models. Another new feature is the Axial Tech fans which is a new design which helps with airflow and dispersion across the GPU helping you keep your GPU cooler at lower speeds. That also has zero decibel technology which just means that the fans will stay off if the GPU is below a certain temperature and this temperature can either be set in the software or you can leave it at default and on default it is about 55 degrees it could change for different gpus but for most of the gpus i've seen it's all been on 55 degrees and as soon as the gpu goes above 55 the fans start kicking in and that is a good segue into the next piece and that is fan connect now what fan connect allows you to do is it allows you to connect external fans to your gpu and have all of your fans run in perfect harmony together with the GPU fan. Now, of course, all these fans will actually run at the fan curve of the GPU. So which means if you have zero decibel technology on your GPU, none of your fans will work until your GPU actually reaches that minimum threshold. And then all your fans will start turning on. And that will then, of course, work at the same speed at the same time as the fans of your GPU. Now, of course, this is a cool way to keep your rig quiet especially if you have a lot of fans you can connect a few of those fans and actually keep them off until your gpu actually really needs to cool down and only then your fans will start kicking in but if it doesn't need it the fans will stay off and of course they won't go to full 100 percent fan speed if it's not needed and lastly and most importantly is the new touring chip now this is going to be the reason why you buy the 1650 super instead of just the normal 1650 as the 1650 doesn't actually have the new Turing chip. Now just to clarify that all 1650 supers, 1660s and 1660 supers all have the Turing chip and all of the 1600 cars have the same Turing chip as all of the RTX 20 series cars. Which means in the 1650 Super you have the same Turing chip as you get in the RTX 2080. Now the GTX 1650 Super is still around $160 and I'm pretty sure you can find it for cheaper if you start shopping around your local stores or if you can buy second hand. And that makes it a great addition to any setup if you don't want to pay too much on the graphics card. Now of course this can be because you're building your first PC and you don't want to overspend or you have a certain limited budget or if you're just building a second streaming PC and you don't want to break the bank by spending thousands of dollars on equipment that you technically don't even need. And to give an example why you really don't need anything better than this is because the GPU in Dr. Lupo's streaming PC is actually a GTX 1660 Super. Bear that in mind. Now, of course, if you're going to be building this as a single PC setup, I would definitely suggest looking into something like a 1660, a 1660 Super, or even possibly a 2060, as those cards have more VRAM, which means you'll be able to play at higher resolutions and higher settings in your games, making it easier, especially if you're in a single PC setup, as it gives you a little bit more headroom and also just makes it better for yourself because you can play in high instead of playing in medium. And lastly, before we end this video off, I just like to touch on the new NVENC versus the old NVENC and what the new encoder chip means. Now, just to start off, encoder chips isn't a new thing for GPUs, as the older GTX 10 series cards also had encoder chips. It's just mainly how they work and, of course, what they do. Now, with the old way, it used to send your frames to your RAM and then from your RAM back to your GPU to actually be encoded. 
And with the new NVENC way, it actually keeps all of your frames in your GPU, which means it doesn't need to send all of the frames to your RAM and then back to your GPU. It just kind of keeps everything one central location. Now, as far as quality increases, there is some quality increases with the new Turing chips. And if you want to learn more about old NVENC and the new NVENC and the encoder chips, I have left a video down in the description below from Epos Vox, where he goes in depth on everything old NVENC versus new NVENC. And if you want to learn, that is going to be the best place to actually go and look. So the link to that is going to be down in the description below. So if you want to look at that, go ahead, click on that link. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and also tell me down in the comments below. Do you think the 16 series GPUs are still valid? Or do you only want that RTX 30 series goodness? And as always, if you want to ask me any questions, feel free to leave that down in the comment section below as well. Or you can head over to my Twitch channel where I stream live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon at 8 p.m. South African time, which is GMT plus two. If you guys want to ask questions or just hang out, hope to see you guys there. Until next time. Cheers.